weeks ago, Comic Con happened. Yes. And one of the big things to come out of it was the Doctor Who Series 9 trailer and a clip for the Sherlock special. Yes. So, because I'm talking about everything BBC, I brought someone who knows a lot more about it than I do, Danae from Sherlock to Watson on Tumblr and all over the internet. So, yes. Welcome back, Danae. You've seen her before. If you haven't, go watch that video. Let's kind of just dive right into this. So. Before going into the trailer for Season 9 and speculating about Season 9, mm -hmm. what did you think about Season 8? Because I know it's gotten a lot of mixed reception. I liked Season 8. I'm having trouble connecting to this Doctor like I have other mm. Doctors. I loved Chris. Uh, David Tennant was my first Doctor, really. I watched him before the first season. Loved him. I was worried about Matt, but I clicked with him on the, his first episode. I'm having trouble clicking with Capaldi. I'm waiting for it to happen because I want it to happen. I'm just not... I love it and I like his character but I'm not like... I'm just not clicking like I have the other ones. So I'm waiting for that. See, I think we're opposites on this because with Eleven, the entire first season when I was watching it, I was very apprehensive about it. I was like, you're not the doctor. Who, who are you? Go, go away. Stop <laughs> doing whatever it is you're doing. Until that Pandorica open speech... Pandorica. And that was like literally just like that moment was like, okay, you're the doctor. Yeah. Let's let's do this. I had and, that speech memorized yeah. at some point. Oh, it's an amazing speech. <laughs> yes. I'm pretty sure I had that speech memorized. Oh. But like with Capaldi, it was his first episode. I'm not talking about the Christmas episode. Like his uh -huh. first episode, Deep Breath. Mm -hmm. When he's you know, like steps out, he's doing the dinosaur thing. He's just, he's being Scottish and grumpy. Like that, I just, I related with him. Mm -hmm. I love his angry old man. I love his grumpiness. I like his you know, don't give a shit attitude. I, I connect with that. And he's just, he immediately became my dog. Yeah. Um, I don't know. And, and it might be part of the reason is that I'm not a huge fan of Clara. Um, I'm, I love companions. I've loved companions. I've hated companions. Loved Rose. Loved Amy. Loved Donna. Did not like Martha. Hated Martha. Um, but I just, I, I guess for having so long, I was worried, um, when both Matt and Amy came along, I mean, you know, Karen, and uh, but they clicked so well together that it was hard when Clara came, and I, it it wasn't the same. Maybe I'm being picky, but um, and even her with Capaldi, I feel like they meshed better than when she did with Matt. But it's still, she's not my favorite companion. It's not a companion that I've been like. I wish I was her, I want to be her, which is a far cry from, you know, other companions that we've known where I'm just like, I want to be in their shoes. But, so maybe that's the reason I'm having trouble, but I am looking forward to this season. Uh, the trailer looked amazing. It was really dramatic. Um, we see old villains coming back and new ones. Uh, we got Zygons yeah. coming in. Uh, the Daleks, of course. Uh, questions you have the master the hell is she doing there i th i was actually talking about this with my brother and a couple friends uh we think that missy might be coming back as like a second companion for like a the bit. master is the doctor's yes. companion how okay. amazing would that, that be that would be pretty cool. how like that that's would, that what be i've been cool. wanting since the end of season three when the doctor's sitting there with the master in his arm, yeah. he's like, no, let me. He's like, no, I'm going to die just to spite you. What you're saying with Clara, I I don't disagree with you. Like, mm -hmm. I, I don't love her. I don't hate her. I know a lot of people who just have scathing reviews of her. Yeah. Um, for me, I don't, I don't hate her. I just feel like she's been handled a little inconsistently. So I'm hoping that in season nine, that's one of the things that changes that it's very, it's a lot stronger with her, you know, as a companion, with the writing, with the episodes, with just everything. I hope it's a stronger written thing, because that was my biggest thing about season eight, is that it wasn't, I felt like, overall, it wasn't a very strong season. It had a lot of great episodes. Mm -hmm. uh, the Caretaker episode was amazing. Yeah. Listen. Listen, Listen was great. Listen was it had a lot of unanswered all. questions. Yeah. But it but was a great episode. Yeah. So it had a lot of really great episodes, just there were also some that I, like, completely forgot about until I was talking uh, about them later Yeah, on. absolutely. Um. You don't have the memorable episodes that you did with the three mm. doctors who have come before him. And even the ones before that, you have episodes that stick out in your mind that you're like, you know, like Pandorica that pretty mm. much defined Matt Smith's doctor. You have Blink, which was Tenet's 
big episode. The Empty Child um, for Chris Cycleson. Yeah. For me, anyway. But, I mean, Listen was sort of that. They went into the Doctor's backstory in a way that they haven't mm -hmm. before. But it still wasn't like, this is his episode. The episode that's going to define his time as the Doctor. He's, Maybe we'll see that this season? You're right. He's had a lot of great moments and a lot of great episodes, but he hasn't had that moment. He yes. hasn't had the Pandorica open. Moment. Yes. Whereas, like, with, like, Tenet... He had that moment in the first episode yeah, started. absolutely. Like, at the end of the episode, he just walks out and he's like, nope, this is my show now. Yes, I, I, absolutely. Um, so, you know, absolutely. You know, I, I can agree with that. As much as I love Capaldi and he is my grumpy doctor, uh, he hasn't had that defining moment. Yeah. So hopefully we'll see that in season nine. Yeah. Now, the big question of season nine that I've been wondering, everyone's wondering, who is Maisie Williams' character? <laughs> because obviously the doctor knows her, or at least knows of her. I've... I feel like he knows her. I, mean, I know we've had some speculation on who she may be. I th I like. I definitely think it's someone we've seen before, yeah, either in the absolutely. new series or the classic series. For them to to, to bring that, he's just like you. Mm -hmm. Like he knows exactly who she is, whether or not she's wearing the same face. You know, it really could be anybody. But it's, I I want to say it's going to be something that's going to make us go, oh my god. Yeah. So. Um. My speculations on it could be four people. Could be Susan, his granddaughter from like the first series. Yeah, it could bring that it, back. It would be. I, I feel like it would be weird to bring that back to a new generation because it wouldn't like click with everybody unless they were hardcore Doctor Who fans. Got to realize they're kind of pandering to the the new fans. I mean, too. that's how it was with the Master. True. Like we didn't know. I mean, we didn't know who the Master was until after the Master did his thing, and then we learned about him. Yeah. Okay. Um. Something over here. It could be Jenny. I kind of feel strongly that it's it's going to be Jenny. Because she is a Time Lord. Also, Jenny was a really popular character for only having that one, one episode. episode. A lot of people really wanted to see her back. I think most people just want to see her back because she was the Doctor's daughter and she married the Doctor and then <laughs> had the Doctor's daughter. <laughs> yes. So I think that's the main reason people yeah. love her, but I did like her in that Yeah, episode. she was just this feisty yeah. and like, you know... Which I kind of read off of, um, you know, the the uh, the trailer. She's just like this, like fireball, and so I could see it being Jenny. I could totally see it being Jenny. So, so, so Susan or Jenny, or these last two are definitely me grasping at straws and kind of just a fan. I want it to happen, but I doubt it ever will. I think it could be River post library because with giving the doctor his new regeneration cycle that changes the rules Absolutely. of regeneration so they could there could be many ways that they could bring river back was river up uh, her time as the library i don't remember was her 13 no she gave all the rest of the doctor she when she first met the doctor and saved his life she gave her all of her all of her regeneration stuff so to like him. you said they, they've changed the rules so therefore yeah. river's rules something could happen too. something could happen i'm not saying like I'm not saying the act of giving. I'm just saying they've established that the rules can change. Yes. I mean, that's that's part of the show. The rules yes. are always changing. Um, so it could be River post library. Which, I, would, I, I would like yeah, to see that. I, I would I would love to see that just because it, one it would be River being younger and the Doctor being older, and one they would be on the same page. They'd be yeah. on the same timeline for once. Uh, that would she be might not be in the same timeline though. She may they, not be. I they mean, might drag that whole yeah. thing out again. Uh, I mean, anything can happen. So, and then my final speculation, I thought of this today, and it might be because I've only had like two hours of sleep. Um, I think she could be Jack. I think he's really grasping at straws at that one. I mean, it's Jack. But he's also the face of Bo. Yeah, but I mean, he's got, he's, got a, he's got a while. He's got a while before he becomes the face of Bo. He, he, could, become, he could become a woman and a man again. But Jack is such... A beloved character. He you is. can change the Doctor. You can change River. You can, but that's that's Jack. But I mean, that's part of the show is change. The Maybe. characters are always. I still changing. feel like this. I mean, I could kind of see River, but I feel like you're 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 really grasping at straws. I feel I'm really grasping at straws too. But I made the connection in my head, and I had to bring it up. Doctor Who isn't the only thing that came out of BBC. Uh, the other thing that came out was the Sherlock special clip. Yay! Which I know you're losing your shit. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Um, what did you think about it? Uh, I thought it was uh, refreshingly funny. I, I kind of wasn't expecting it. So I felt like they were kind of like oh, yeah. trying to like head it off this time by being like, we're going to show you a clip, but we're also going to show it for all the people who could make it to Comic-Con. Um, Which I totally I was, respect. I, I do too. 
Show us that shit. I'm still waiting for the World of Warcraft trailer. <laughs> I'm still waiting for the Warcraft movie trailer. So seriously. Anyways, it was it was it was really funny. It was kind of lighthearted. It gave kind of um, and you tell it's the very beginning of the episode, and it kind of sets this um, tone. But we're not sure if that tone is going to be all the way through. Who knows? But I, I loved it. I watched it like 50 billion times. Yeah, so, I liked uh, the thing I was most excited about it was seeing. Benedict Cumberbatch, Batch, Botch, Batch, Batch, Cumberbatch, <laughs> Benedict Cumberbatch. Uh, I mean, I'm excited to see him play Sherlock, but I'm excited to see him playing like the quintessential book version of Sherlock Holmes. Like he was very, mm -hmm. like in the books, in the books and stories, Sherlock's not that much of an asshole. No. He's kind of, yeah, but he's also incredibly charming. Yes. So you know, he's very lighthearted and very whimsical. And I feel like in just the quick shot we saw of that, that he was really channeling that. I love how they didn't do the same thing with John, though. John is still his sassy self. Uh, you know, he comes out all like boss man, telling Miss Mrs. Hudson she's a plot point, and, you know, talking about growing a mustache just so that people will recognize him, because mm -hmm. obviously he was offended that people didn't recognize him. So he's just like all like, he's BBC's John. Um, I kind of like that because he's kind of more subdued in the books. He's kind of yeah. passive. I mean, he's basically just the narrator. Yeah. So I kind of like that, and you know, I don't know if it was uh, the decision of the creators or Martin's decision to just bring out the sass that Martin is well known for. Mm -hmm. um, and so is John. So I'm, and it's, it's really exciting. Yeah. Also, and another thing you brought up that I didn't know about is the rating. Tell me about, so... Tell me about, tell them okay. what you're telling me about the rating. Okay, um, I don't know exactly how ratings work in the UK, you know, in America we have our, you know, G, PG, PG-13, R. Um, through the entire um, Sherlock series, it's had a constant rating of 12, um, which is kind of like our PG-13-ish, maybe a little bit into R. Um, for some reason... The special has been rated as a 15, which is like RR, um, and a lot of people are wondering why it has such a hard rating because there's a lot of stuff that they did show that was very adult content that was in uh, the rest of the series with the 12 ratings. They had more already um, blowing his head off. They, yeah, you had uh, uh, Sherlock on the ground yeah. surrounded with blood. He had um, him blowing Magnum's head off. Yeah. Uh, you had all this kind of stuff that was really adult. considered adult content with just a 12 rating. So a lot of people are wondering what could be so monumental that the BBC would raise the rating. So, I mean, that's pretty much it for the Doctor Who Series 9. I mean, that starts in September. Yes. And then we do, and we still don't have a date for the... Uh, for the Sherlock special yet. Not yet. So uh, When they showed the trailer, they showed coming soon-ish. So, between now and Christmas. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, we're patiently waiting. Could you imagine if it comes out at Christmas? Because here, Star Wars comes out Christmas Day, too. I might have an actual heart attack. <laughs> I think we're going to time it to where we go see Sherlock and then go see Star Wars. No, or Star they, Wars takes opposite. priority. Well, if they have like Star Wars is going to take priority. Okay, but I'm saying if there's like one showing of Sherlock, if they're only showing it once, we have to either fit in Star Wars before or I've after. I've waited 25 years for Star Wars. <laughs> I've waited one for Sherlock. Oh. Remember, if you comment on this video or any of the other videos in July, you enter for a chance to win a Mad Moxie Funko figure from the Borderlands franchise. What did you think of the Doctor Who Series 9 trailer, and what did you think of the clip shown by Sherlock? Uh, let me know in the comments. Follow me on all the internets. You can also follow Danae on the internet. So where can they find you? Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Tumblr, at Sherlock Watson. Um, yeah. So follow her there. Follow me. And definitely subscribe to the channel so we can keep out some more. What could there possibly be that would raise the ratings? They don't... BBC does not do sex. Yes. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I just want to say butt sex. Um, <laughs> one, so Captain America, Thor, Hulk.